Hello and welcome to Professional Tutors. We are a team of dedicated and qualified teachers whose main aim is to help you reach your full potential. Hello, sorry, glitched slightly. We are to fuse it together. Just so there's two videos here. We, we, as you know, we're testing food for starch, and we've established that butter, no. Bread, yes. Banana, yes. Now I did do the milk one, all right, and I put no there. But I will demonstrate it for you, all right? We did do the milk one, but it went off. So there's milk. Okay. And I'll just show you because I've put a no next to the milk. There we are, look. So that's remained orange. Now, if I try some other ones here, these are also part of your everyday diet. Here I've got some cucumber. There. Cucumber. So that should be a yes. Do you think this contains starch? Yes or no? Think about the other foods that we've used. Let's have a look at that then. This has got a bit of a waxy layer on the same as a banana. So let's just wait a moment to see what happens. That's starting to go through now and starting to change colour. Look. So it's starting to pick up the starch granules that's in the cucumber. Remember I mentioned starch granules last week, little pockets of starch. That's going, starting to go look. So we can say that cucumber is a yes. Now I've got some more as well. These all form part of your balanced diet. Now here, Pop this in because it was leaking on here. This is egg. If I put this in the egg, so if I put egg here, okay. Cucumber was a yes, wasn't it? Yep, put a definite yes there. But let's try the egg then. A bit too much iodine there. Try the egg. As you can see, no change whatsoever. So you may ask yourself, Egg, no. Why do we eat eggs then? What do we eat eggs for? Any idea? We eat eggs for protein, right? You are growing, like I've said. You need protein in your diet. Regardless whether you've stopped growing, you know, if you're old. If you cut yourself, you need to repair tissue, cells, tissue. The protein, that's what it's for. It contains special ingredients called amino acids, and they're in protein. Here, cheese. Now do you think cheese? cheese? Simply written on that. Contains starch. Let's have a look. Again, the same as the milk, the same as the butter, same as the egg. There's no... We've got little bits on there but that's not starch, right? So we can say that cheese is a no-no. Let's talk about things that we eat a lot of, right? You eat a lot of this. What's this? Pasta. Put pasta on there. Okay. Try this one. Look at that. Do you think that gives you a lot of energy? Completely black. Look at that more than these. A lot of energy in pasta. A lot of energy. A lot of sports people, footballers, people like that, they'll eat pasta before, a couple of hours before the match because it slowly releases the glucose. It's called slow releasing energy. And that's in pasta. Let's have a look at something else then. What about this? Get it out. Rice. Some people eat loads of this. Have a look. Look at that as well. Oh, that's just as black as the pasta. It's an amazing colour that is. Right, so let's go recap. Bread, banana, rice, pasta. Rice. Yes, pasta, yes. And then this one. 
this oats. Oats are used for cereal. People have them for breakfast, picked up for oats and all kinds of things. Let's have a look at this. Do you think oats got a lot of energy? Look at that. Loaded with it. Porridge made from oats. Horses eat oats. Look at that, what a grand, strong animal the horse is. And they live on oats, amongst other things, but they don't go, you know, they don't have protein foods. They don't have they do need them. Where do you get proteins from? Various sources of vegetables. It doesn't have to be from eggs and milk. You get proteins from plants. Vegans live on plants. You know, people with special diets, you can't just get all of your needs, everything you need, you can get them from plants. You may need some supplements and vitamin pills if you're older, but no. And then that leaves us with and you know the outcome of this one, the potato from last week. Do you remember that? Let's have a look. There we are. Look at all the starch in that. So we can say, we can safely say, yeah, potato, yes. are from a plant. So we've established that starchy foods are mainly, well they are, plant-based. And that's where animals and where we get our energy from. Now, as far as recording my results are concerned, I've made a pretty rubbish job of this. I've just written it all out like this. Now you know in science, and you've got them in your books, and you've made a lovely job of this, you tend to do, when, you, when you're writing out your results, and you've done a, quite a few practicals, I was looking at your books yesterday, and you do a table, don't you, with a ruler for me, like that. Now, what kind of table could you do to put these results in? Now, you could stop this video, you could look at, the, look at these, could we just have a look at that? Yeah, there we are. We've got butter, no, bread, yes, banana, yes, milk, no, pasta, yes, rice, yes, potato, yes, cucumber, yes, egg, no, cheese, no. How could you put those results? The, the title is this, testing for starch. What would you put in here? How would you do it? Would you put foods there and then put all the different foods down there? Yes or a no and a tick? How do you want to do it? You do it. You show me how you could record your results, write your results down for me and show me, rather than me do it for you. Because you are now getting at a point where you're really starting to think scientifically. I mean, the diagrams that you've done are tremendous. What I want you to do is test. Look at all this. Get that put together properly. All right? And then what you could do for some extension work, this word here, method the method is like baking a cake it's like your recipe what did i do today write me a few lines on what i've done today that's your task so your first one is to put your results in a table like this and throw it on some paper some of you might want to do it on a word document insert a, um, a table and do it up there and then write a method that's a good idea actually because you use an it then and you're all very good at it so you could do that but what i want though from you and the, the speed in which you get this turned around and sent to me is amazing. I mean, last week I got about 12 pieces of work back within an hour and a half. It's incredible. No other year group is doing it that quickly. It's amazing. So I've jumbled all this up. It's up to you to put it all together because I've done a typical thing and just done it as I've gone along. So put the results in the table and then method means what you did. I'll put there. what we did, I'll put, right? That's what method means, if you need to, a reminder. And I used this. This is called iodine. And then I used all these foods. So what I want you to do, and we can start doing this now, because this is what we do in the lab, is you write up your practical that you've done. And you've done quite a few. So I'll leave you with that task. I'm going to put up um, an example of that triangle term I talked about earlier. And your carbohydrates, form part of that balanced triangle. At the top, you've got things like sweets and chocolates and things like that you don't need a lot of. 
they contain faster sugars, which are no good for your teeth and not really very good for energy either. Whereas at the bottom, in the middle and the bottom, is your balanced diet. So, put these messy results into a good table, either on a Word doc or you can draw it, whatever, it's up to you. And then a little bit of letter, let you know what you've done. But you are doing very, very well. And um, I'm sorry that these videos have to be fused together. I've had a couple of technical issues. But I needed to do this outside. I couldn't, couldn't do it any other way. So, I'll see you soon.